Ah, you must be the human meeting our dear Queen Yasmin today. Come along, right this way. Though, I'm pretty sure she already knows you're here. You'll see what I mean. Uh, <laughs> if she doesn't talk your ear off first. I know, and then I said, no way, Wilma kissed her human lover. I know, Bonnabelle, your system is working great. I never doubted you for a second. Wilma did, of course, but that's just Wilma. <gasps> no way! Uh, I'll be right back, Bonnabelle. You'll never guess who just arrived. Oh, hello, little human. Oh, you're so tiny. <sighs> is my voice hurting you? I can whisper, don't worry. <laughs> Oh, oh my. No, you're perfect. I just... The only human I've ever seen up close is Bonnabelle's lover. Did you hear they're getting married? You didn't? Oh, I have so much to tell you then. Oh, but first, uh, how rude of me. Sorry, you're going to have to tell me if I start rambling or... Going on tangents. I'm Yasmin, the queen of this world. But I'm sure Bonnabelle's lover already told you that. <laughs> and you are? Oh, what a lovely name for a lovely human. Might I ask? You have a notepad and a pencil. Are you... One of those journalists I've heard about. <gasps> you work with a paparazzi. <gasps> that means you must know all of the juicy gossip going around. Oh, <laughs> my job? Well, it's actually my job to know everything about everyone. Strange, I know. But... My job is very important. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Well, I go to all of the colonies and make sure that they're not fussing with each other, not griping with each other. If they are griping, which usually they aren't, it's usually some petty arguments about territories, I go in and I talk to both sides. And usually we can come up with a compromise. But I also make sure that they aren't plotting anything against Wilma. <laughs> Shh, about all that. Well, of course. Wilma's has, well, been the president of the galaxy for who knows how many years. Technically president of the universe, but who's paying attention to labels? Mm-hmm. So my job is very important, making sure everyone keeps in check, making sure there's no arguments, no fights, no wars, nothing. Though, unlike the others, I do have a second job. Do you want to hear about it? Oh, <laughs> I knew you would. You're just as curious as I am. No, that's a very good thing. I couldn't handle a boring lover. <laughs> oh, darling, I think we're a perfect match already. I'll explain that later, too. But first, the juicy gossip about my secret second job. I control all of the organization that goes down. Yes, Wilma runs everything and she's the main organizer, but... For the files about the history of our whole entire universe and the other universes, that's all me. <laughs> I told you, the secrets of the trade, everything. Anything you want to know, I'm like a little encyclopedia. Everyone thinks I'm so ditzy, but I'm actually really smart. Oh? You could... Tell that I'm smart. 
even with my little facade? Really? I'd have to be smart to get to know everyone's gossip. You're so right. You can see right through me, can't you? You're perfect. Oh, I should probably explain that one too. You see, my species, we, um, we're different than Wilma and Bonneville's, though we look oddly similar. Ancestry-wise, we're all related in some way, but we aren't related now. <laughs> Very different species. And with mine, we're all about emotion. Mm-hmm. Wilma and Bonneville are, well, devoid of it in a way. Well, Wilma acts devoid of it. Actually, her species literally got rid of all of their negative emotions, and that's what created Bonneville species. Yeah, that is a little bit of a mess. <laughs> but my species, we fully embrace it. Our happiness, our love, our anger. We express it freely, without care. It leads to very interesting conversations with both of my peers, but I don't mind. However, because we embraced our emotions, my species adapted to be very keenly aware. Just aware. Aware of what makes us happy, what will make us sad, before we even do the thing. Like, if I played baseball, I know automatically that I kind of like it. I don't even know what a baseball is, but I know that I would enjoy playing it. Whatever it is. So, when I saw you, I just, I knew. I knew that I loved you. Or that I'd fall in love with you. Now, of course, I'll let it happen naturally. I never force you to do anything. <laughs> I'm not that kind of person. Um, to put it in a different way, I can almost see us living a happy, happy future together. With almost no worries. Mm -hmm. Well, of course, there's going to be worry in every life. I think most of it comes with you having to live on a different planet, or me having to live on a different planet. But that's all the worries I can sense. Other than that, I can foresee us living a happy, loving, fulfilling life together. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it is cool, isn't it? My species is... Well, to me it's normal, but... For you to say it's amazing, I... I want to believe that myself as well. Well, this is our first meeting and... I can't imagine they really let us have a lot of time together. Which is unfortunate. I'd really like to get to know you better. <laughs> Again, I've never really seen a human up close. Here. Do you want to get in the palm of my hand? <laughs> wow. You really are tiny. Hmm. Maybe I could shrink down. No, well, that's if you wanted me to. I can't do it naturally like Bonnabelle can, but... There's a little thing that I can... Well, <sighs> it's hard to explain... You guys don't have that technology yet. But see this little hologram here? All I have to do is press it, and it sends, um, in human terms, an electrical shockwave through me. <laughs> so it'll make me just a tad bit smaller. Well, I'll still be quite tall for humans, but I won't throw off your gravitational pull. 
Actually, that's a great idea, human. Yes, I think I shall shrink. That way, I could go to your planet, Earth, and you can show me a day in your life. You can tell me all the hot, juicy gossip. Oh, I'd love to learn about human musicians and pop stars and actors and actresses. <laughs> you can tell me which one doesn't like the other one, all of the hints and secrets. I could even help you out. Using my emotions, I can probably predict whether something will go right or wrong. Mm -hmm. So I could help you with your journaling. Well, that and I'm kind of, you know, famous in my galaxy for getting to the bottom of things. I'm really nosy. <laughs> Therefore, I don't think it'll be a problem for me to find out little key details that you're missing. <laughs> It'll be so much fun. We can even go on a coffee date, you said? I can tell I'll like that very, very much. <laughs> Shall we get going then? I don't think I can wait another second to hold you. I'll have my crew create a spaceship for you and me right away. Oh, don't worry. We'll be back in your planet in a flash. I wonder. I'll have to ask Bonapel. I wonder it's safe for you to teleport. Oh, it is so much fun. They recently put a little teleportation panel on Earth. Mm-hmm. From what I've heard, it works beautifully. Oh, it'll be so much fun. We can hold hands. Oh, holding hands. Oh? What's the matter? Ah, oh. <laughs> you mean my arranged marriage? No, <laughs> that is, um, well, as I said before, I'm very keenly aware of my emotions, and I foresaw that I wouldn't be happy with the person I was paired with, but to make Wilma happy, I pretended that everything was fine. Well, Wilma is my dearest friend. I didn't want to let her down. But when I confessed that, in fact, I wasn't happy, after Bonnabelle convinced me that <sighs> following my heart is more important, well, <laughs> the other person in the arranged marriage was relieved. Mm -hmm. As it turns out, they were just acting too. They were just trying to make me happy because they thought that I was happy. <laughs> it was really a silly situation. Uh, Wilma is not really happy with it, but... I suppose she understands. The arranged marriage is fully over. There were no emotions in the first place. Just two people trying to make others happy instead of themselves. But I'm ready to choose me. I'm ready to follow my heart. And my heart says, you. So... If you'll trust me, and if you'll have me, I would really like to go on that coffee date with you now. You will. <laughs> of course. And if you need any more clarification, I'll be happy to give it to you. Uh, this is going to be so much fun. Here, let me just shrink down and... <laughs> I am still tall, just not gravitational pulling <laughs> tall. That's a little embarrassing, but, you know. <laughs> Take my hand, and we'll walk into the teleportation together. Are you ready? <laughs> Three. 
three, two, 